Hello everybody, welcome to Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Giovanni Cesia, born in Macenta in 1955. He spends his childhood in a courtyard house which has been the home of his family since the 18th century. He has therefore nurtured the deep emotions for family stories. His father is a bricklayer with extraordinary sensibility. It's he that gives Giovanni Cesia the early education that instills in him a love for art. For instance, when Giovanni Cesia is five years old, his father takes him to Milan's monumental cemetery, where the little boy remains particularly impressed in front of Enrico Butti's sculptures set up on the tomb of the Besenzanica family, representing two farmers plowing fields with two Action. He deeply feels the strength of these animals and the vital energy emanating from the earth. Without thinking much, Giovanni Cesia decides to take up the artistic path. At the Prera Academy of Fine Arts, he especially attains the courses held by Raffaele de Crada. For a long period of time, his art highlights the characteristics of abstract art, which he considers essentially as a kind of laboratory dealing with experiments in science and materials. The turning point happens in 1998 when a friend shows him the negative on the glass by the early 20th century found in an abandoned archive in the mental hospital. There are photos of the inmates whose names are unknown and whose medical record numbers are sometimes registered. Giovanni Cesia feels uneasy. Those images belong to a place which is destined to fall into oblivion. A place which is protected by high walls to keep the mentally ill individuals away from the eyes of the society. The artist feels such an instinctive solidarity towards these people that he searches for the occasion to do them full justice. He thus decides to enlarge these photos and to employ them as background for his works. He adopts the color dark brown and adds now and then some traces of other colors, mostly red. Then he incorporates an illegible scribble together with mysterious numbers evidently referring to those of the medical records. Giovanni Cesia also decorates some parts of his composition with the gold leaf. As you can imagine, this art practice is not casual at all. He takes inspiration from the altarpieces where the center figures emerge from a golden background. Ground. He believes that the mentally disabled people are sanctified through suffering, thus deserve to be lauded with an aura of sacredness. Once identifying the technique, Giovanni Cesia engages himself in transforming artistically not only the mentally ill people, but also his surroundings. His work further impresses a kind of meditation focusing on the images pertaining to our common story and on the memory's capacity to turn them into means of suggestion. For example, let's have a look at the theme of maternity. The expressions, the attire, the posture, the simplicity of the chosen subjects tell us about their honest and humble life. At times, the artist integrates raw earth, which, besides the classical theme of the Madonna and child, evokes the memory of a culture tied to nature, its rhythm, the season, and the fertility. His painting subjects also encompass own beds, sheets, chairs, teens, flowers, especially color lilies. He dedicates himself for a long time to the landscape theme. His landscape paintings are often characterized by the presence of mulberry trees, the prevailing element in the economy of the Lombardy region since it is connected with the production of silk worms. The mulberry tree, presented with naked branches, assumes the aspect of a lived body, a suffering symbol of the desperate vitality to quote Pasolini. What's more, Giovanni Cesar is is highly acclaimed for his vintage motorcycle artworks. These art pieces capture the attention of the Ducati management that, in 2005, commissions him to realize artworks to celebrate his 80th anniversary. The next year sees the triumph of Ducati and Stoner in the World Championship of MotoGP. Giovanni Cesar is assigned to create the official image of the event. His artistic production also includes installations in which the artist makes use of a diversity of objects, film clips, photos, 
and sculptures. His work further brings forth a reflection on the cross, the symbol of suffering, but also of hope and resurrection. Therefore, by all accounts, it is associated with human life. Giovanni Cesar's art invites us to meditate on and to question the contemporary system of values that keeps us more and more distanced from that which, not long ago, has built up our common patrimony and has so far remained the most precious heritage of our collective memory. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolines, Deliciousness from the world of art.